Now to a follow up on a story we first brought you last night is breaking news. A short a shooting indicator left one person badly injured. Residents are still trying to wrap their head around how this could happen in their neighborhood. WAFF 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us live from Decatur Morgan Hospital Parkway Medical Center, which went on lockdown last night after the shooting. Claudia, you were on the scene last night and returned this morning to talk with neighbors. Well, Nolan, many of those residents are concerned and still trying to process that the shooting took place in their neighborhood. Now, while I was there, I also found Decatur City Councilman Hunter Pepper, who was making house calls to check on the people who live in his district. It's very heartbreaking to stay in a community that you love. Neighbors are shaken after an overnight shooting in Decatur. Police say that shooting left at least one person badly hurt. It happened around 8.30 p.m. Sunday near Cleveland Avenue and Bruce Street. The victim was taken to the Decatur Morgan Hospital's Parkway Medical Center with multiple gunshot wounds. But police say they were then taken to Huntsville Hospital in critical condition. On Monday morning, evidence of the shooting still remains. A bullet casing was found in the street when we arrived on the scene. Decatur City Councilman Hunter Pepper says he is worried about neighbors on this street. He visited the neighborhood the morning after the shooting to check on residents. I've made a bunch of house calls this morning. I spoke to a lot of individuals within the neighborhood. I uh, told them that, you know, that everything's being worked out throughout the police department right now. I know that this is a very scary situation, especially the individuals that were within the general area when this occurred and the people that live next door to where it occurred. So, you know, they never want to be they, they never want to be in this situation. And it's very frightening, very terrifying, very traumatic. Mary Sledge lives right next to where the shooting happened. It's been her home for over 30 years. She says the gunshots vibrated her home. At first, she didn't understand what was happening, but then reality set in. We heard this vibration of the house and it's that I thought maybe a car had run into the back of my bedroom. We've been really blessed with all the tragedy that's happened and uh, Decatur has been more or less spared, but it, you know, everybody gets a turn and I thought, well, maybe this is it. Now, police say no arrests have been made at this time. Reporting live in Decatur, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48, on your side.